Hello, welcome to the Radlett Centre. This is May 2012. Uh, today we've brought together about 30 different artists, acclaimed sculptures, some first time exhibitors, including the smallest artwork in the world, Micro Sculptures by Willard Wigan, MBE. Seeing really is believing. Please do come in, take a look for yourself. This is Ben, Ben Shalom. He's Hello. a local artist and he was one of our first exhibitors in January and came back uh, to join us for the May Expo. Maybe you could tell us what it's meant for you. Well, this is the second time I'm here and I think it's a good, um, it's a good opportunity to show the work. And people tell me that it's, I've got very bright color paintings and it makes them feel good and all the rest of the artists here, there is a variety of art and people are very pleased to see this place and it's uh i feel happy here and uh it's fun it's fun the first show i, I saw was the initial one at the beginning of the year which unfortunately i couldn't do um but i very much wanted to be part of, the, of your second one and um it's nice to see local other local artists and to meet local people um and to, and to get a real feel for what people want would you consider coming back next year? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Don't, you know, put me down for another, another next exhibition for sure. Hello, John. This is John Brown, a very acclaimed sculptor, and I feel incredibly honoured that he decided to come and join us for this art expo. Um, John, how long, how long have you been sculpting? I think it's about 65 years. Um, it's, it goes so quickly, the time. <laughs> and how many exhibitions in those years, do you think? Well, I usually do about eight or nine exhibitions a year. What has this show meant for you? Well, it's nice to show somewhere local to Barnet, where I work. It's a good position to come only locally and for local people to see the work. I run a um, painting studio locally, and this is the first opportunity I've actually had um, to show the portraits locally and try and get some commissions. So I'm enjoying it. <laughs> It's a tough market at the moment, so have you found that um, today has been beneficial and interesting it's, it's in terms of... It's been in interesting, um, speaking to people and people being interested and co their comments on the portraits. So hopefully what we things might go well the in orders. the future. <laughs> Bang & Olufsen of Harpenden are proud sponsors of the Radlett Art Exhibition today. It's been a great day and it's been wonderful seeing all the different artwork and uh, especially Willard Wigan's work. So here we have the star attraction of the show, Willard Wigan, MBE, uh, together with his, some of his uh, micro sculptures, the smallest artwork in the world. What a fantastic opportunity for the local exhibitors to be exhibiting alongside a world-class player. Willard, you've been travelling all over the world, have you not? Yes, I have, you know, and um, coming back to Raglet, is, it's, it's an honour and it's a pleasure because Last time I came here, I had a great turnout, met lots of interesting people. I love the interaction. Um, at least I can explain to people just how complicated and how difficult this work is. Most people see it, they see it on TV or they've read about it, but to actually be able to interact and talk to them and show them, you know, a few things. And where are you exhibiting after Radlitz? Um, are you travelling the world again? Yeah, I'm going off to America in July. And um, I am going to be doing a few more exhibitions in England. Um, I haven't chosen the, the location yet. Um, this is the first one, and I will be doing some more. And I understand that possibly from today there's another great opportunity that we're going to possibly have a launch uh, of a fabulous new item that you're going to create for our sponsors, Bang & Olufsen. Yes. You never know what's coming out of Radlett. Yeah, you know, I, I'm thinking about something. Well, I am doing, I'm working on a Noah's Ark inside a human hair because I've been um, given a new microscope by the company Nikon which is going to enable me to go even smaller so the sculptures that you see on the eyelashes it's going to be even smaller than that. This is Denny, Denny Lillian. Um, I approached Denny to come and join the show because I personally thought the work was absolutely fantastic, the colours are so vibrant and stunning pieces of work uh, but maybe you could tell us how you found exhibiting locally. Um, I find it I find it interesting because obviously you get a wide range of people come to see your work. Um, normally I do um, exhibitions um, further afield, 
um, but I've been sort of trying to concentrate now and do more of the home counties. Um, I'm finding that most of my commissions come through word of mouth um, and also to do with previous work I've done. So. And is this the type of show that you think will bring you business? Or? Yeah, definitely. Um, sort of like long term. You know, it's making all about making contacts at the end of the day yes. um, and networking. So seeing, seeing who's out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Tal Tal Schreiben, who I recently met. I was absolutely blown away with her work personally, the paper cuts. Uh, this is her first time ever exhibiting. So maybe she could tell you um, how she's found it so far as a first time exhibitor. I'm very excited to be here. Um, the things that I ma like the most is to meet the other artists and to talk about each other's experience. It's been very good for me. Uh, I first exhibited in January um, and got a lot of confidence from that and I've been able to produce more work and come back today and feel really like one of the crowd and everybody's been really helpful and supportive again but I really enjoy myself. So you found from the show last time and this time that you're actually now getting a lot of advice from your fellow exhibitors as well as yes. camaraderie that's going on. Yes, I'm getting a lot of uh, comments and feedback. People have liked what I've done. They like the way I've produced the cards and prints, um, but also the way of marketing myself and being able to talk about other than my day job. It's added a different facet to what I do for a, a living. Uh, this is something that I have always enjoyed doing, but now I'm talking about it. And a lot of my friends have really enjoyed that. Well, I've, I've mainly exhibited my work at private art galleries, small art galleries over London, you know, i.e. Southfields, Wimbledon, um, Chelsea, Hampstead. I, through mutual contact, got through to the Radlett Centre and we found that this art exhibition has is, is been very helpful and I've got to know the artists. Um, I've been doing the art now for about 10 years, off and on. So do you feel that today's show has helped you? Yes it has, yes, yes, because I've been speaking to other artists and they've given me information uh, which has been very helpful. Has it boosted your confidence in yes, terms of exhibiting? Yes it has, very much so. Great. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. So this is Karen. Uh, Karen, as you can see, has some absolutely fabulous glass. Um, she's very experienced, has been exhibiting in all kinds of places for many years, particularly in the open studios. Uh, but it's the first time exhibiting with us and maybe you could tell us how you found the show so far. Um, well, I'm really enjoying being here with, with uh, many varied artists and uh, I've had lots of interest this morning in my work and uh, I also run taster workshops and I've had lots of people interested in doing those. Great, so overall, successful, Very marks good. out yeah, of 10. Yeah, so far so good. <laughs> marks out of 10. Oh, I think about 8, eight out of 10 so <laughs> That's far. That's pretty good. <laughs> On a hot day. Yes, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.